Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about workhorse stock because WKHS stock still has a secret that can make them a huge long-term winner. We will also talk about how Workhorse Group has a new CEO and why he can turn the company around for the better. We will also look over what Workhorse's earnings projections are, and lastly, we will look at Workhorse stock price predictions and Workhorse stock price targets by analysts. I will also tell you about another company that is much less volatile than Workhorse Group who can have Olympic-sized gains and is a more stable EV stock investment. Go and press the like button right now for more stock market news updates, comment your thoughts down below about WKHS stock, turn on subscription notifications if you are new, and now let's make you some free money with Weeble. Weeble is a free brokerage app where you can buy and sell stocks, options, and cryptocurrencies, but right now you can get two free stocks with Weeble. You can get the the first free stock, which can be worth anywhere from $2 to $250 for just creating an account. And you can get a second free stock, which can be worth up to $1,600 if you invest $100 or more on your first deposit. You will have a 1 in 100 chance of getting stocks like Facebook, Starbucks, or Snapchat, and you have a 1 in 50 chance of getting stocks like Google or Procter & Gamble. To get this offer, just press on the link in my description box down below, but do it quickly because this offer will not last forever. And without further ado, let's get into today's stories. The past year has not been kind to Workhorse stock. Ever since Workhorse Group lost the USPS contract to Oshkosh, the stock price fell hard from around $41 to approximately $7.50. Since the loss, Workhorse filed a complaint to the US federal court because they believed that Oshkosh does not fit the contractual requirements for the U.S. Postal Service contract, among many other things. This, along with WKHS stock's massive short squeeze potential, has lifted the stock price back to around $10.50. However, Workhorse still needs to ramp up their production because they have only produced 38 C-Series vehicles this year. After a poor performance from the company due to poor management, the previous CEO was outed to where now a more capable CEO who is an auto industry veteran has taken his place. The new CEO is named Rick Dauk, who will strive for Workhorse Group to meet their new production goals and for the WKHS stock to succeed. The new CEO has served as a CEO of Delphi Technologies and he has also served as the CEO of Accuride. With this new CEO at the helm of Workhorse Group, it might be able to inspire shareholders to regain confidence into the WKHS stock. However, Workhorse Group was not a management play to me, and instead, I'm more focused on the short interest, but in the long term, I actually am focusing on their horsefly technology, which is their drones. The future of the last mile delivery market is drone technology. Horsefly is a fully electric drone that can carry up to 10 pound packages, which also has the ability to fly 50 miles per hour. So far, Workhorse has tested delivering parcels with their drone from a vehicle that is 10 miles away. Customers can mark locations of where they want their packages dropped off, and the customer can also see real-time footage of the drone delivery through an app. Workhorse has already submitted its type certification application to the FAA many months ago, which means they are close to approval because on average it only takes one to two years. In Workhorse's quarter one conference call, Workhorse said that they have already delivered their first horsefly system to a commercial customer. The company has already completed 45 flights as a part of the FAA approval process, and the drones passed all 45 tests in the first try. The drone delivery market will scale up according to the e-commerce market as it expands. Kathy Wood's fund, named ARK Invest, says that drones can cut the last mile delivery costs by up to 90%, and by 2030, ARK Invest predicts that 35% of all retail orders will be delivered by drones. In that same time period, the drone-enabled last mile delivery industry is set to be worth $113 billion, which means that Workhorse can become very valuable if their drones 
roads continue to improve. Workhorse is actually a first mover in the last mile electric vehicle drone delivery market, which is why I never sold the stock even after the USPS contract fell through, because in the future, this will give them a huge advantage over other competitors. Workhorse Group's next earnings report will be on August 9th, where they are anticipated to post a loss of 19 cents per share, but their revenues are projected to be $5.19 million, which is over a 5,000% increase from last year's quarter two results. It seems that analysts have recently become more bullish on WKHS stock pertaining to their earnings. With that being said, it is very difficult to predict if Workhorse will beat earnings, but even if Workhorse meets expectations, that's going to be good news for the company, because if it doesn't, the stock could drop even more. Currently, Workhorse is gathering their fundamental strength, but they are great technical trading opportunities for the stock, so if you like stock analysis, check out WKHS stock. The stock is pretty easy to predict in the short term because the stock has super strict resistance at around $18, and it has a very strong support level at around $8, so the stock price continues to bounce back and forth between these two levels. For the investors who have held through the USPS drop, I hope you have more strength to keep going because the real benefit is going to come in 2030. So you have to weigh the opportunity cost of investing into another asset that could make you more money before it booms in 2030 because you could just invest into them in 2030 and get the same amount of growth. However, currently analysts predict that the average price target for WKHS stock over the next 12 months is $13.25, which is around a 27% upside potential. Out of these six analysts, four say to hold it and two say that Workhorse is currently a buy and none of them say to sell. So if you hold the stock, that's not that bad. You just have to weigh your opportunity cost. And if you want to continue to buy the stock, make sure that you get the stock at or around $8, which is that support level that we talked about earlier. Some investors are migrating their money from WKHS stock over to Magna International. Magna supplies EV companies with various parts like body strength structures, transmissions, control modules, seats, and many other components. Plus, the electric vehicle market is booming, so Magna is also doing great. Even with a semiconductor chip shortage, their revenues rose 18% year over year to $10.18 billion just for the first quarter. On screen, you will see their other very impressive statistics, financials, and improvements that they have had year over year. However, I will continue to hold WKHS stock and buy Magna, and I will not sell Workhorse just to buy them. Jim Cramer had to say this about Magna, and I quote, I love Lear and I love Magna. These are companies you want to own right now. They are boring and they are good. The last mile delivery sector is heating up because you have other competitors that are going to be listed on the market, such as Rivian. We already have Arrival, Elms, and of course, Workhorse that we have talked about many times on this channel. But keep in mind that opportunity cost because Workhorse might not become very profitable unless we get that short squeeze that we've been waiting for. Anyway, what do you all think? Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you are new. Remember to leave a like and I will see you in the next YT video.